So for this one, we put a speech. I will say it very quickly again. When we are talking about something in the movie and you have to tell another person about and the information, maybe we are all talking together now face to face, but you are like, oh, what should I eat later? I just say, oh my God, I didn't notice what Ryan just said. So you can tell another student, hey, what did Ryan just say? Or what does he say? Then you will say, oh, I know. He said, blah, blah, blah. He says, I don't understand the question. So the reported speech, the reported speech, well, he says he doesn't understand the question. He says he doesn't understand the questions. We are all here in this situation now. So it's not something in the past. It's not something in the past. So you are right here. So you can use present tense when the introductory verb is in the present, like say, tell, inform, state, or claim. You use present tense. You don't have to change the tenses. But if the introductory verb, introductory verb is in the past tense, in the past, there is a change of tense and the efforts of the time and place. For example, he said, I don't understand this question. In the reported speech, you have to say, he said, he didn't understand the question. You cannot say, he said, he doesn't understand. It's incorrect, okay? This is in the academic sentence. You cannot say doesn't. You have to use didn't. Didn't is correct sentence. What is that? Because the situation is in the past. For example, I'm talking about something this morning, okay? So I asked teacher James, and what happened to him? And he said, oh, he didn't understand the question because in the morning he said, I don't understand the question. Do you guys understand this part? It's a little bit confusing, but I think with lots of practice, you will know. Direct speech in the present tense and it will be past tense. Present perfect tense, you have to use past perfect tense. And in the past, you have to use past perfect tense. In the future, you have to use past future. What does that mean? Past future. For example, this morning, 10 a.m., Ryan said, uh, I will go to Japan tomorrow. And now it's 10, 39, PM, right? So I said, I asked you guys, hey, everyone, do you, re do you remember what Ryan said this morning? And you will say, oh, he said he would go to Japan. So you have to use he said. Okay? Wait, wait, why is that? Said that he would go to Japan. He said that he will go to Japan. Okay, now let's do some practice and you will understand. We will use the movie, The Jurassic World. And I will show you guys, and we have some sentences. First of all, we are going to listen to the sentences. You have to type in chat and tell us, what did he say? exactly what he say what he said okay you don't have to use reported speech first just tell us what did he say Ray? honey what are you doing what is this here let's go come on honey your flight's in two hours jane county airport is 36 minutes away 60 with traffic how many minutes to get your little butt in the van hmm how many of those? Feed the monster under your bed? Yes. 
Okay, so we will listen to the sentence again. So we are going to listen to the mother. Can you guys hear that? You, it's okay, right? James, is it okay? Um, it, it's a little bit quiet. Yeah, I think it's a I little- can, I can understand it, but it's a little quiet. Yeah, so everyone, you can volume up a little because I don't know why it is the loudest for me. So we will try it again. Okay, let's do it. Ray? Honey, what are you doing? What is this here? Let's go. Come on, honey. Okay, what did she say? Maybe James can help us to say the sentence and we can type down the sentence. She says, honey, what are you doing? Ray, who's Ray? Yeah, honey, what are you doing? And we don't actually say, what are you doing? So how would you say that in Australia? We <laughs> We would confuse everyone by saying, what you doing? So we, we squish the words up. So obviously you wouldn't use the word watch, mm -hmm. but what are you? And we would squish that all together to make it sound like whatcha. Whatcha doing? <laughs> what you doing? What you doing, okay. It and almost sounds like, like we're not speaking English. <laughs> yeah. Lights in two hours. So the sentence will be very quick. Will be like one sentence. So you have to notice. The Tony Airport is thirty-six minutes away. Sixty traffic. How many minutes to get your little butt in the van? So the sentence. What did she say? We'll try it again. Minutes to get your little butt in the van. Minutes to get your little butt in the van. So can you help us to read this sentence? So she says, how many minutes to get your little butt in the van? Mm. But, do you guys know but? Um, but is this area of a person, this is my Doraemon, it's right <laughs> here. This is the but. How many minutes? Okay, we will hear it again. It's very quick. Minutes to get your little butt in the van. What is a van? You guys know? So James, what is a van? So a van is like a, no, oh, how do I explain a van? It's a, it's a type of vehicle. Yeah, it's a type of vehicle, a um, yeah. bigger, bigger car. So the last, last time. How many minutes to get your little butt in the van? How many minutes to get your little butt in the van? So he said, oh, we don't have to be in a rush because we can take our time, right? But, his, but the mom said, you should get your little body in the van. Okay, so if I were there and I was downstairs and when they came downstairs and I saw him, I would say, what did mom say, say to you? What was, uh, what was mom asking you to do? So how can I make this sentence to be reported speech? Let it, let's practice this. How many minutes to get your little butts in the van? 
So maybe you can say, so James, how can we say this sentence in reported speech? So she asked me how many minutes to get my little butt in the van. Yeah, you have to change the sentence to my, not you were, right? You are talking to me, but mom asked me. So she asked me how many minutes to get my little butt in the van, okay? The next one will be easier, but will be faster. Mm -hmm. So she, she goes up, they go? go down. Feed the monster under your bed? Yes. Call me every day and text me pics so I don't forget what you look like. Okay. Oh, why the volume is so little? Okay, what did she say? You have to listen to it, okay? Let's go. Every day and text me pics so I don't forget what you look like. I'm only gonna be gone a week. Again. Call me every day. So this sentence is call me every day, right? So call me every day. What is the sentence next? And text me pics so I don't forget what you look like. Okay, so how about this one, James? So she says, and text me pics so I don't forget. Oh, sorry. And text me pics every day so I don't forget what you look like. Mm -hmm. But she said it very quickly, right? Very. So can you show us how to say it quickly and then combine the sentence together? Sure. So I have to remember what she said. Um, yeah. Oh, cool. and oh, text let me, me, me pick. And text me pics every day so I don't forget what you look like. Yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot. And in the picture there, you can see that's, a, that's what the Americans call a van. And we in Australia call it a people mover because you can seat up to seven people inside of it. Oh, this one? That's it, yeah. Call me every day and text me pics so I don't forget what you look like. Come on, let me. Okay. A week. So what did he say in response? And text me pics so I don't forget what you look like. I'm only gonna be gone a week. You guys need to listen to it again. So after the girl, his girlfriend say, say something, then the boy well, say a sentence. So you have to tell me what is that sentence, okay? Get what you look like. I'm only gonna be gone a week. That... Okay, maybe James can say it for us and we can hear it. I'll only be gone a week. So what sentence, what, what words did he combine together? I am. So James, can you say that again? I'll only be gone a week. So what words do you combine together? Gonna, right? Do you guys use gonna a lot in Australia as well? Well, um, we use gonna as in uh, as a replacement for going to. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the shops, I'm I'm gonna go the I'm gonna go to the shops. Okay. How about wanna? Do you use it a lot? Yes. Yeah, I wanna go. We do. You, do you, you want to poke? I want to go, right? You're not going off to war here. Okay, let's and listen to it. And text me pics so I don't forget what you look like. I'm only gonna be gone a week. All right, so they will arrive in the airport. You hold these, please. Can you hold these? Honey, I need you to take care of these. Yeah. I don't... Hey. All right. Listen to your mother. Take care of your brother. Answer your phone. So the dad said, listen to your mother. What if he 
didn't hear the sentence. So he said, what did that just say? What did that just say? So you have to use reported speech to tell me. So what is that sentence? So we will listen to it again. Okay, any questions? Uh, do you guys get it for this one? Listen to your mother. Okay, not hey, listen to your mother. Okay, so how about this, James? How can we change it to reported speech? Listen to your mother and he asks the brother. He says, I have to listen to our mother. Yeah. Or that told us to listen to our mother right listen yes. to our mother because both of us so listen to it again um let's give these to your brother okay you hold these please can you hold these honey i need you to take care of these yeah. I don't... hey all right listen to your mother take care of your brother answer your phone i'm serious it's the green button when you see my name push it okay and remember something chases you Okay, there's another sentence. Come on. Uh, All right. I'm funny. Okay, let's go. Come on. Bye, guys. Bye. I miss you already. Yeah. So much for our last family breakfast. Why do you have to say things like that? So another sentence we want to listen to is this sentence. So listen to it. Did you call your sister? Straight to voicemail. Okay, so what did he say for this sentence? Uh, the way, way, way. Why do you have to say things like that? Did you call your sister? Okay, what did he say? She call you sister? Really? She call you sister. Okay, James, what did she say? I don't know, what did he say? He said she should call her sister. Mm. Yeah, so how can we make the reported speech? What did she say? Yeah, it's a little bit hard for this sentence. That's why we are going to practice. You call your sister? Straight to voicemail. Okay. So James, how can we make it as reported speech? So he what he what he said to her is you should call your sister. So yeah. what he said is she should call her sister. The sentence was you should call your sister right so she said she should call her sister okay that is often seen in the movies so you guys have to know this one the reported speech and i will also send you guys the video so in later you will have the subtitle here and you can repeat it again and again right? Give these to your brother, okay? Okay, right. All right, um, let's give these to your brother, okay? You hold these, please. Can you hold these? Honey, I need you to take care of these. Yeah. So when you take something in your hands, you can say, can you hold this? She, does, she didn't say, can you take this? Take this, just take it. But if you hold something, you'll hold it in your hands. So she said, can you hold this? You hold these, please. You hold these, please. 
can you hold these? Okay, he was not listening, right? So what if he turned around and asked the brother, what did mom say? And you have to use this sentence to make it a reported speech. This question, can you hold this? How can you make it a reported speech? So maybe James can tell us the answer for this one. She said, you hold these, please. Can you hold these? Yes. She said, can you hold this, these? But because they are all here, but if they leave and they are talking about in the past, you can say, she said, could you hold these? Okay. That will be in the past. So that is about this movie and this sentence pattern. So in the in the future, we will compare different movies. OB, because this time we don't have the time to show you the whole movie. So in the future, like next week, next Wednesday, this weekend, we will send you guys the movies and you can watch the movie first. And we will discuss the movie, what is in the movie, and we will show you guys some clips like this with some sentences and we will hear the American accent first and teacher James will read the sentence in Australian accent as well. So that's how we will do it. So later I will play a sentence and you can hear it first in the American accent and teacher James will say it again. Can you hold these? Honey, I need you to take care of these. Okay, so the sentence, this one. Okay, James, please. So she says, honey, I need you to take care of these. So when you have this sentence, uh, how can you show us how you link the sounds together for this one? So how would you say it for these three words together? Take care of. Yeah, you don't say take care of right you will connect them together take care of so maybe so there's, you only have, one, hmm? only one k, there's only one k sound mm, only one k sound here so maybe you guys can tell us in the group what kind of movies do you like like oh how many kinds of movies do we have like action movie well how, how about you james what is your favorite Comedy. Comedy. So what is comedy? So it would make you laugh. Mm -hmm. So funny makes you laugh. Maybe the tragedy is the opposite. Okay, I won't type it. And how about the other type of movie? Animation? Romance. Oh, I don't like the Big Bang. Sorry. The Big Bang Theory. Animation. Do you guys like friends? I don't like friends. James, do you like friends? It was very popular. It was very so popular. popular. I did yeah. like it. You didn't like it? I, I did. Oh, you did like it? Yes. Because I cannot stand the background laughter noise. <laughs> you make ah. crazy. The Modern Family is also very famous. So do you like to like it then? So the thriller, the horror movie, romance, animation, and what kind of movies do we have? Drama. Drama, yeah. Oh, I only like drama. Drama, oh, sci-fi. How could I forget sci-fi? Sci-fi is my favorite. Shakespeare, Whisper. detective. So sci-fi like... Oh, fantasy, my favorite, the Harry Potter. So you guys also watch uh, sci-fi like Avengers, right? Suspense, horror movie, thriller. So your favorite is comedy. I like sci-fi the best. I think sci-fi, 
I only like the special effects for um, in the movies. I don't really like the very sad movie that will make me feel like sinks in. I don't like it. How about you? What is your least favorite? I don't think we can hear you, James. Oh, sorry. Um, my least favorite would be horror. Oh, you don't like horror movies? I uh, yeah, and not because they scare me. Um, it's because I find them boring. Or the atmosphere. Everything is fake. <laughs> I think it's for the horror, very... movie, it's not very scary. Just for, I think just for the, the way they show the movie, just they use the sound effects to scare you. There's yes. no, re there's not really a plot in the movie. Do you guys know plot? It's the story in the movie. Okay, next time we will talk about uh, the movie vocabulary first. So if you guys want to have the movie part, we will show, uh, we will send the movie in advance on the weekend and you can watch that all and we will discuss the movie on Wednesday and also like compare the sentences okay for the listening part so thank you guys for joining us today sorry for something wrong with our YouTube and Zoom today we're deeply sorry for that but thank you guys for coming to the class see you guys tomorrow bye bye good night everyone Good night.